How you doing everybody? Coach PJ here. I wanted to send you a video. Uh, if you hear any background noise of a nine-year-old playing Fortnite, I apologize. Uh, that's just what they do when they're not back in school yet. So at any rate, um, I want to send you this video. I think it's very important. I, I've sent you a prior video on figuring out when you can be off of your plan and how many days um, a year you can be loose. I've really been thinking about this a lot more, and I've kind of expanded uh, my ideas and perspective on this. And I put together, I've sent this out to a few of you. Actually, I sent it out to all of you, a spreadsheet to all of you, um, probably a month or two months back. But I'm going to attach um, two Excel spreadsheets for you guys to use and refer to. Um, so again, th these spreadsheets are going to outline depending on where you are how often you can be loose with your nutrition now there's two categories there's two spreadsheets um, let me pop this up one which i'm going to bring up now is for nutrition maintenance that means you've gotten to where you want to be and i have some of you in this category you, you've dropped all the fat you've gotten results you're cool with where you are the question is the big question is everybody always says, okay, I've done all this work now, how the hell do I maintain it? Well, I've come up with this system that will allow you to maintain your results forever. And now with the caveat being, you have to be on point, meaning you're tracking your food intake, just like you're doing now. You're staying at a certain calorie level and not going over. Okay, you're doing the work that got you there to begin with. That's that's. Principle number one of, of maintaining fat loss, weight loss results. You can't abandon what got you there. If you do, you're going to be like 95% of everybody else and you're going to put all of your weight and fat back on and have to do this all over again. Okay, so if you are willing to live the fitness lifestyle a certain percentage of the year in when you're trying to maintain results, you can have all the fun. Okay, but the caveat is you have to continue to track. You're setting a calorie limit. I'll go over this further, but that means you're going to be eating 70% of the year in a slight deficit, meaning 10 to 11 calories per pound of body weight. Some of you, depending on activity level, might be able to get away with more than that. Okay, That's the big caveat before I go any further with this. All right, You have to be willing to do what got you there and live the fitness lifestyle the, the vast majority of the time in maintenance. So let's take a look at this. And again, I'm attaching what I'm popping up um, to this email. Okay, so let me move this over a little bit. Again, this is for you guys that are closing in on maintenance. You're done. You're cool. You don't want to lose any more weight. You're good with where you are. You just want to maintain the results. Or for those of you who are already there, um, and again, if I'm if if you've heard this before from me, but some of you might have, um, you can ignore it. But I think it's still worth watching as I expand on it. There are 110 days a year. Why 110? Because that's 30% of the calendar year. Okay, 30% of 365 is 110. I've tried to account for every possible occasion I can um, for you to be loose with your with your diet meaning you're not tracking on those days you're not giving a hell of a lot of thought to what you're eating um, and the way i've mapped this out is this assumes about a thousand calorie surplus above and beyond what you would need for true maintenance of body weight on that particular day uh, or whatever all right so um if if for instance if somebody's dieted down from 190 to 150 their theoretical maintenance level might be 2,000 calories a day maybe 20 2200 something like that again a lot goes into that but let's call it, let's call it 20 let's call it 20 2200 calories right um, if on these special occasion days holidays vacations you, you can scroll through all this if you're, this assumes a, a thousand calories over. Sometimes it might be more than that, but we'll, just for simplicity's sake, I factored in about a thousand calories over, right? So 
somebody that needs 2,200 calories for maintenance, that they're, they're indulging, they end up at about 3,200 for the day, all right? Um, so there's 110 days during the calendar year. You can go through this on the spreadsheet every possible holiday. And again, I, some of you guys might not celebrate all this stuff or do it all. You can create your own and, and, and edit this um, if you don't celebrate Christmas or Easter or if you're Jewish or whatever, or, you know, you, you only got one kid or you're not married, whatever. You, you, can move, you can move the days around and put them in other categories, right? Um, but, I mean, I've covered basically everything. It's 110 days. So whatever your situation is, whatever your days are, it should not go over 110. But I would go through this spreadsheet individually and, um, you know, tailor it to your preferences in life, right? But, I mean, I got all the major holidays. I assume 14 days of vacation. I assume anniversaries, kids' birthdays. I mean, you can go through it all. Um, you know, the sports fans, I got 20 football Sundays in there. I got Super Bowl Sunday. I got the college basketball people. I got three days from March Madness. Again, you can edit this. It just shouldn't go over 110 days, right? Um, and then I got, you know, wild card for whatever categories. I got drinks with your friends, okay? 110 days. That's a lot of fun, guys, okay? And as you open this, read over here uh, how I want you to do this, all right? So you can enjoy all of this stuff, all right? You're, you're not in diet prison, but the caveat is you have to be willing on, on any day that's not listed on this list. If it's not on this list, you're not engaging in it. You want to keep your results? This is how you do it in blatant yeah. detail. These, this is when you can go off plan, right, and not worry about it. Um, so if it's not on this list, you're not doing it if you want to keep your results, right? But the other 70% of the year, you're tracking your calories. You're weighing and measuring food. Um, you're staying at a certain calorie limit. Again, I go over this over here, about 10 to 11 calories per pound of body weight. If you're training hard and you're active, you will maintain your results that you've gotten within a certain range, within a couple of pounds. Now, obviously, the days that you do this and go off plan, your scale weight is going to go up for a few days after the fact. It just, for a dozen different reasons. You can't freak out it will come back down. If you get back to tracking, staying at a certain calorie limit, it's going to come back down and average out. Okay. You have a big Christmas, you know, you have a blowout Christmas dinner. Um, you wake up the day after Christmas on the 26th, your scale weight might be up three or four pounds. You get back on track five days later, it's back to where you were before Christmas. That's how it works year round. Okay. So this one I have open here is the big one for people that have gotten the results that are in maintenance and they want to know how to keep it. Okay. Now let me get, get out of this one. I created the other one for you guys who are currently active in fat loss. All right. Um, you can't get away with all that. Okay. Not until you get to where you want to be. Yours is going to be less. All right. I want, I always talk to you guys, 80 to 90% compliance. So I set this tracker, at 85, or I'm sorry, 80% compliance. All right, I should have said it at 85, but I'm not going back and doing it again. All right, so you guys get who are in active fat loss get 73 days a year. And look, guys, I'm telling you right now, most of you guys just need to accept the fact you're going to need to take a year to do the work that you want to do and to get there because you're doing this within the context of a normal adult life. Okay, you're going to have ups and downs, but if you take a year and do what I tell you, and adhere to this, what you're looking at, you will get to where you want to be. And you're also going to be able to have a life in the process. Okay. So for you guys who are in fat loss, and I want to, I want to, let me, let me back up. This is for both maintenance and fat loss people. Your calendar year starts when you see this today, whenever you're opening this. Okay. So it starts now. All right. So for you guys in, um, you know, the goal acquisition phase, you're still trying to lose fat, you're still trying to get to where you want to be, this is for you, all right? Uh, the maintenance people get 110 days a year, you guys get 73, all right? That's just what it takes because if you, if you indulge in 110 days, you're going to end up 
at maintenance, right? Which we don't want. That's not what we're trying to do. So for you guys, it's a little bit different. Um, I kind of recategorize things a little bit. But once again, uh, for people in active fat loss, you get 73 days a year. You Again, you can recategorize all this stuff the way you want, depending on your life and preferences and the amount that you vacation. You know, For instance, if you don't celebrate Christmas or Thanksgiving, you can take three days that I have listed here and move them to the, to the wild card, whatever, and make it 35 there. Okay, you can rearrange it. Just can't be more than 73 days. Same thing for the people in maintenance. You can recategorize that however you want. It can't go over 110 days. So I would encourage you do it to your wants, needs, and preferences. Okay, but guys, this is the, this is how you do it. People always ask, how do we? You know, 95% of people end up regaining all their weight. Why? Because they don't have they don't have an exit strategy after they do the work. If you want a very explicit exit strategy, here it is. All right, you have to be willing to do this, though. Okay, it's a lot of fun, guys. This isn't diet prison. This is the fitness lifestyle. All right, and that's what I want for everybody is to live that way. All right, because it's a force multiplier in your life. Um, but you can see, still, you don't have to lock yourself in your house and obsess about food all the time. There's plenty of occasions. You can do all the fun stuff, all right, if you're willing, which most people are, do not and are not, if you're willing to do it right the vast majority of the time, right? What's interesting about these charts and, and spreadsheets and compliance ranges, mo what, what got some of you guys in the place you're in because you took 70 or 80% of the year and ate like a jackass for years on end, that's how you gain 50, 60 pounds, Okay. And then you, you spend 20 or 30% of the year doing stupid intermittent diets for a couple weeks at a time or trying to work out more or whatever it might be. We're just flipping this around. You're going to do the right stuff, the hard stuff, the fitness lifestyle stuff, the vast majority of the time. And then you can do all this stuff guilt-free, right? And you just get back on track with your normal fitness lifestyle. So... I hope this helps. So look, I'll give you a real quick example. Uh, if I got somebody in fat loss and you're watching this right now, uh, or if you're in, I got a couple of new clients that are watching your, your calendar year starts today when you're watching this. Okay. So if you're in active fat loss for the next 73 days, don't do all this stuff. Okay. That's not the idea, right? Your calendar year starts today. Next, what is it? August whatever it is. It's August the 24th. This runs from August the 24th or whenever you watch it's the 25th, 26th until next August 26th. Okay. You start today. So let's say, uh, one of you guys has, it happens to be your wife's birthday today, your husband's birthday. You're going to go off track. You're not going to be tracking your calories. You're going to be on a surplus. Okay. You're not, you, you don't feel like fooling with it. Okay. You're going to mark a one right here. All right. And this will, um, I will update this before I send it to you. This will subtract from 73 automatically. Okay. So then you're at 72. All right. Um, maybe uh, next or two weeks from now, you want to go out and um, have a dinner with your friends and have some drinks. That's an off plan day. You're in surplus. You mark a one there. It will automatically update to 71 days, et cetera, et cetera. If you go on a seven day vacation, in January, okay, you're going to mark a seven, and it's going to take it down uh, to 64 days left for the year. That's how you do it. And then every other day, you are back on track with what you're doing. Okay, and again, if you if you zoom out, a year is nothing. If you do this for a year at 80% compliance, and you are on point with what I'm telling you to do with your with your program, you're going to end up being where you want to be and looking the way you want to look at the end of a year. All right. If you're already in maintenance and you've already done the work, number one, congratulations. If you want to maintain it and not have to hire me again, that's how you do it. 110 days a year. But again, the big caveat is any, you got to really, these are true special occasions. Okay. A random Wednesday, if it doesn't fall in your wild card, whatever category here and there is not a special occasion. All right. That's what most people do. It, it's, it's five days a week of eating like crap. Okay. Maybe a day decent, 
or two days decent, that's how you end up putting on a bunch of weight, right? So we're just really dialing in what's a true special occasion. And again, you can tweak it, all right? But this is how you do it, okay? So I hope this helps. I'd really like for you guys, because this just eliminates all the guesswork of, am I on plan too much? You know, am I off plan too much? How often can I break my diet? This tells you exactly what you can do, okay? So I hope this helps and this is beneficial. Um, again, I'm attaching these spreadsheets. I'm going to fix this one so it automatically deducts. Use this, okay? Wherever you are, maintenance, or you're currently trying to lose more fat and more weight, use this, okay? I think it'll be a big help. That's all I got. Thanks.